Um, for those of you who are regulars to Visually Speaking, you know we start off with the image, right? It's called Visually Speaking for a reason. So what we ask our, our photographers to do is take us behind the scenes of some of their more notable images. Oftentimes we see an image, we get the caption, we get the headline, but rarely do we get the behind the scenes narrative of how that image came to be. And so we are in for a treat because we get to hear directly from these photographers about how these images came to be. Uh, yeah, delivery person. Mm -hmm. And so I dropped it off and I was like, I don't know why I even did this. And so I went home and then I called them because you were supposed to pick it up on a Thursday and I said I couldn't do it. I had to work, I could pick it up on Friday. So when I went there, and this is in 1990, um, and uh, the, when I, the same receptionist said, you know, what's your name? I'll get your portfolio. And I said, Ming Smith. She said, oh, Ming Smith, like that. She says, oh, well, I was told for you to, that when you, you know, to sit down and I have some people that want to talk to you. So I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, right, like that. And so um, Susan Kasmerick uh, came in. She said, well, John Sarkowski, he thinks you're brilliant. He said all these great things. And she put six photographs on. And she says, well, we don't even know how you did this work, et cetera, et cetera. So they chose two of them. And then she gave me a price. Uh, on, I was like, how much are you paying? I was like, museum of modern art. I got, I'm going to have me be rich, right? <laughs> and so, uh, uh, yeah, right, not. So anyway, I was like, well, you know, I, I can't remember what it was, maybe 500 or something like that. And, she, and I said, well, oh, no, that doesn't even pay for my supplies. I can't, you know, sell you this. She says, well, people try to give us work, and we don't accept it. So I said, nope, I'm not, that's, the, you know, and so... Uh, she said, well, just keep them here, and you're gonna, you take the rest of your portfolio, but keep them here and think about it, okay? So then I went home. At the time, I was married, and I told my ex-husband, you know, I said, you know, I told him the, the story, and he said, you better go get that money. <laughs> so that's the real reason why, you know, I sold it to him. And I was like, later, maybe 20 years later, I was like, duh. What, you know, I, I didn't realize it was such an honor, but, you know, like when they first called me to be on this panel, uh, they said it was going to be on street photography. And I said, well, that's easy. I can just tell them, look, the main thing I want to say about street photography, make sure that your bed is in a park bench on the street because money-wise, you know, it's a, a big struggle. But anyway, that's the story.